Hey guys, I take over a week and today I'm showing you how to install an SSD drive in your MacBook Pro. Uh, I currently have the uh, OCZ Vertex 3 uh, right here. Here is the drive that I got. It's the OCZ Vertex 3 Max IOPS. And uh, I just went I went ahead and I uh, got the 120 gigabyte. That's all I need. I got this off of Amazon for I believe it was 224. And uh, before we get into this, I also I uh, do want to say make sure you have uh, the correct screwdriver. I had um, a Phillips screwdriver and that one didn't work. And then I switched to like a flathead, and it got all every one of my screws. I got every screw um, except for this one right here. Uh, this screw actually, for some reason, it was screwed in tighter, and um, it this the screw ended up stripping a little bit. I don't. I mean, it's not horrible, but it ended up stripping a little bit. And I actually went off of Amazon and I bought this, and this is the exact size uh, that I need. It's actually got a whole bunch of different custom sets. So I actually uh, bought this off of Amazon. It's got the exact screw you need. So what you need is a Phillips screwdriver and you also need a Torx uh, screwdriver and this has both of the specific sizes you need. I believe it's uh, the double zero and the Torx T6 I believe you need. Um, but anyway, that's what I got. Right now I got the uh, Phillips double uh, zero. That's what I got um, in my screwdriver right now. Um, and that actually, uh, the flat head that I was using to get out all the other screws, it, for some reason, like I said, it did not get out of that one. Uh, but, and that's when it ended up stripping, but this one, um, it got it out. So we're good now. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I actually have that screw out right now because uh, I didn't want to put it back in. Once I got out, I didn't want to put it back in um, because it, I didn't want to have to worry about it getting stripped or anything again. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. So you're going to have to take out um, all 11 screws of the back of your MacBook Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. And I would recommend um, placing these somewhere where you're not going to lose them because uh, they are extremely small screws. So uh, now we got all the screws out, um, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and lift this up now. Um, and you just pull up on the top first and that snaps it off and then there you go. So there is the, uh, the inside of the computer. Uh, so we are still going to need the, uh, the Phillips uh, screwdriver. Uh, there are a screw, there's a screw right here you need to take out, a screw right there, a screw right here, and a screw right there. You need to take out all those on um, this top bracket will come off, so let's go ahead and do that now. So we got both of those out, and I would, uh, actually the screw's not out yet. So this bracket, uh, this just comes out. So I would actually leave those screws in there yet. Um, you can see right there is the bracket, and the two screws are, that's not focusing, but the two screws are right here. Uh, so you can just take out that bracket and set that to the side. And then you got uh, two more screws you can take out, one right here, one right there. So let's do that. Uh, so then you're just going to go ahead and uh, take out those two screws. So there we go. And then you can go ahead and pull this out. Uh, so here is the hard drive and it's out. It's still connected to the... You have the SATA cable right here, so go ahead and take this out. You have the SATA and power cable. Uh, so there, we took out the SATA and power cable right there. So here is the hard drive. We're going to go ahead and set that to the side. And actually, you're going to have to take off this plastic tab right here. We'll need that to put onto the SSD. Uh, so if you ever need to switch that out, you got this to pull out the... Uh, the hard drive and actually they had it set on this side when it was in the computer but you actually lift up from this side so when we um, take the uh, the SSD uh, when we put the SSD in I'm going to put it on the top actually instead of the bottom of how they had it um, but there is the hard drive so we're going to go ahead and put that to the side and um, now we're going to go ahead and take out the OCZ hard drive out of um, its packaging I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here um, but I don't have, I lost my knife, I can't find my own knife. Uh, so I'm just gonna use the, uh, the screwdriver and get this open. So I'll just pierce the plastic up there. 
And there we go. So, let's go ahead and get the plastic off of it. And uh, so we've got it out of its packaging. And let's see how we're gonna get this open. So the top right here just flips up. There we go. Uh, I believe some people. Uh, so the hard drive's in there. I'm gonna put that. Hit. I'm gonna put that right there for now. Um, and I believe it's it's something on here. Uh, it comes with a 3.5. Uh, adapter for desktop computers. We're not going to need that, so I believe that's probably somewhere. In, that's probably, I think it's in there actually. Um, but uh, that is everything that's in the box. You get they give you um, a sticker right here, uh, and it just says my SSD is faster than your hard drive, which is sort of a humorous sticker that I'll probably never use. Um, anyway, here here is the um, the SATA three. Uh, 2.5 inch solid state drive. That's the uh, installation and guide and whatever. I'm not going to need that. Um, so I'm going to put that to the side. And that is what this drive is. It is a SATA 3. Uh, but this just goes ahead and opens up right there. And right there is the Vertex 3 Max IOPS 120 gig hard drive. Um, and I believe this is the 3.5 inch um, adapter for desktop computers. So we will not be needing that. Uh, so I threw that over there. Here is the hard drive, let's pull that out. And then they also give you uh, some screws. Then they give you some extra screws, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here. I mean, they're they are all um, Phillips screws. I guess they're just spares maybe in case you lose it or something, I don't know. Um, but we got the screws already for my computer, so we'll not need that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And there's a warning sticker there saying it's, I'm just gonna Pull that off. It just said uh, the part is sensitive to electricity, um, so it said to, with uh, a static-free workstation. They said, but there is the uh, the SSD itself, and uh, this is when we actually need the Torx screwdriver. I forgot we had to take off uh, this. There's a screw here, a screw there, and uh, there's the same thing with the other side. We had to take those off and uh, put those on the SSD. So we're gonna go ahead and switch out uh, this Phillips right here uh, for the Torx T6. Uh, so now we got the Torx T6 in there. And we're gonna go ahead and take out the screws on this. Let me set that to the side. Make sure you do not lose any of these screws. Um, I'd recommend putting it maybe in a, a glass or something, something to hold them. Um, anything really will do the job. Anything that can hold these screws. Um, I'm just sitting on my table here. So there is the third screw. And now the last one. And my screwdriver just snapped for a second there. Well, it didn't snap, it just, I didn't tighten this enough. Uh, so it just snapped a little bit there, but uh, there we go. So there's the last screws. I got those set there. Put that hard drive to the side. We won't be needing that anymore. Um, now on the, uh, the Vertex 3 here, you can see I had to put those back in there. So let's go ahead and do that. And you do not need them extremely tight, just um, turn them until it stops um, turning. So just, you don't have to make it extremely tight. Once it, once it gets a little bit harder to start tightening, um, you don't have to tighten anymore. So we got all those four in there now. So I'm going to set that to the side again. Uh, so the next part we're going to do is the, the plastic tab that we took off on um, the other uh, the other uh, hard drive. We're gonna take that and put that onto the the uh, the SSD now. So we're gonna just go ahead and um, you can see where the sticky part is from that crease right there. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom side. So there we go. Um, now it is on there. You can see. Uh, so just going to put that sticky part on the bottom. And now uh, now we are ready to uh, actually place the the SSD into the computer. All right, so for the next part, we're gonna go ahead and connect the uh, the SATA the SATA and power cable uh, to the SSD. And actually, uh, they <laughs> didn't put the sticker on backwards, but not a big deal or anything. Um, the, uh, the, the this is where the SATA the SATA cable connects to this side, uh, so it's a little backwards, but whatever. Um, 
So the next part after you got that plastic tab on and you got all four of the Torx screwdriver, the Torx T6 screws um, back in to the uh, the drive, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the drive, the SATA, the SATA power cable uh, to the hard drive now, the SSD actually. So that just uh, goes, that just goes ahead and slips in. And now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, put that back into the computer. So there you go, it fits perfectly fine. Um, you just go ahead and put it into this side first and then drop it down and finish it. Uh, so now we got that all all set. We got the SSD in there. Um, now we just have to finish uh, putting the bracket back on. So we got this bracket that I showed you previously. We're going to put that back in. So I do have to go ahead and switch this back to the Phillips. So I'll be right back. So then here is the, uh, the bracket. We're going to go ahead and put that back in. So we got that in there. And we're going to go ahead and tighten those screws. And then for the last part, we got these last uh, two screws right here that we have to put back in this bottom bracket. So those are completely in there, and the SSD is pretty much fully installed now. Um, we just have to go ahead and put the, uh, the back plate on there. So here is the other uh, back plate. We're going to go ahead and set that on there, and I'm going to try to get that tab to lay down, but... Uh, whatever, never mind. Doesn't really matter. There, it went down anyway. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and put the 11 screws back into the computer. And just make sure not to tighten them too tightly. Uh, we don't want to strip any screws. Um, like I had the problem. Actually, it wasn't my fault. The computer came. Uh, that one screw right here. Uh, that one. They just they had that tightened in for some reason. Tighter than all the other ones. So uh, that one got stripped a little bit. Just uh, I also recommend, guys, make sure you have the exact size uh, Phillips screwdriver, the double zero, because um, it just I don't want you guys to have to go through what I did and end up with uh, stripped screws. Uh, but we got the uh, the three larger screws tied in there now, so we're gonna go ahead and do all the smaller ones. So we got all of the 11 screws back in there, and that strip screw I should not have a problem with anymore. Um, the Phillips double zero fits perfectly fine with that screw, so we should be fine. It's completely installed now, and what I would recommend doing is doing a fresh install of OS X Lion, or whenever you plan on installing Snow Leopard or whatever. Um, I would plan on doing a fresh install, and then uh, backing up your stuff, all your major files and apps and everything, or programs that you have. Um, on your computer, I would recommend backing those up to an external drive and then transferring them over after you have the fresh install of Lion. Um, that's what I'm installing. I'm installing Lion. Uh, so actually, I got a flash drive right here. Uh, it's a 4 gig flash drive, but you only need like a 1 gig, I believe. Uh, and I got uh, the Lion recovery boot or whatever it is, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. Um, it's going to bring up the Lion installation and it's going to install Lion right on my, uh, my brand new SSD I just installed. Uh, so you just have to download the program off of the Apple website, and or not the program, the uh, installation. You install it to this. Uh, make sure you have your flash drive formatted correctly. Um, I'll put the information in the description for that. Um, but make sure you have your flash drive formatted correctly, and then you install that Lion boot, whatever you want to call it, uh, to your flash drive. And then you're just going to go ahead and put this in your computer uh, before you start it up. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys. Now that I have everything situated, here's the flash drive. I'm going to go ahead and put that into my computer and I got uh, my external drive right there with all my stuff so I'll go ahead and possibly show you guys how to do that um, how to transfer stuff over uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and hold down the option key while uh, we press the power button to start up the computer so let's do that now 
and I don't have a tripod right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just try to do it as fast as I can. I'm holding the option key right now, so let's go ahead and press the power. So there we go. Make sure it's still holding it. And let's see what the computer does here for a second. Uh, so you can release the uh, the option key now. And recovery hard drive, I believe that's what it is. Nope, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I believe that's what it is, though. So now to uh, make sure uh, that your SSD is um, pro uh, not pro formatted correctly, we're going to go to disutility first and go to continue. And that was the recover HD. Uh, go ahead and you want to select that when we boot up. That was the correct one. Uh, but here is the 120 gig OCC Vertex 3. Uh, and then once you got that selected, we're going to go to partition. Um, and I'm going to select one partition. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and select one partition. And then uh, you're going to click on options down here and make sure GUID partition table is selected. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And uh, then you're going to make sure it has uh, Mac OS 10 or not OS 10, just says Mac OS Extended uh, Journal. So do not do case sensitive. Do not do case sensitive. Make sure it is extended journaled, um, and you can name it whatever you want. And then you are going to go ahead and hit apply, and then partition. Now the uh, the partition is completed. So now we're going to go ahead and go to. Uh, we're going to quit out of disk utility. We're going to go to reinstall Mac OS 10. Continue. 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 And you will have to confirm your Apple ID at this point when this finishes loading. Uh, so agree, agree. We're going to install it on right there. And here's where you have to enter your Apple ID. So I'll do that one second. And it's going to go ahead and install. So I'll be back when this finishes up. Um, currently it says 97 hours. So I guess I'll see you guys in 97 hours, and we'll go ahead and finish this up. Uh, obviously, it's not going to take that long, guys, but um, it might take a while, so I'll be back when this finishes up. All right, guys, so uh, we got a small amount of progress now. Instead of it saying 97 hours, we got 28 hours. So uh, well, it's doing something. It's downloading. You can see uh, the blue progress bar right there is moving. Um, it's, I got a slow internet, so that could be one of the reasons why. Uh, but uh, it, it should be done, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to assume like an hour probably. Alright guys, so um, it actually finished downloading now, and I am now in the progress of installing Mac OS X Lion on my new uh, OCZ SSD. Uh, so you can see um, that is exactly how you install an SSD on a MacBook Pro. And just to clear this up again, uh, all of the 2011 MacBook Pros and from this point on will at least be um, the SATA 3. Uh, so you want to go ahead and get the Vertex 3 drive. If you have uh, a, if you have like a 2010 or earlier MacBook Pro, you have the SATA 2. Uh, so you'd be better off with the Vertex 2 uh, to save some money because your speeds cannot be that fast on your MacBook. Um, so make sure you go ahead and get that cleared up. Uh, but you can see this is the installation now, and we got it all downloaded, and uh, we can freshly install Mac OS X Lion on our brand new installed SSD. Uh, so guys, that's it. Uh, if you got anything out of this tutorial and um, it helped you out, go ahead and like it down below. Uh, you can subscribe to talk to me notify me and release my new videos. Um, I'll definitely have coverage on the iOS 5 and Tether jailbreak, which should be coming soon. Pod 2G actually just um, jailbroke uh, the iPod Touch third generation on iOS 5 um, as an untethered, so we should be seeing a jailbreak soon. We don't know if that is going to be for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 yet, but it should be for all those other devices. So that's it, guys. I'll meet you the rest of your day, and I'll see you next video.